was going on was popping. It's your girl Drizzy. Welcome back to Drizzy Radio, a place where we talk about celebrity gossip, celebrity news, trending topics. If you're new here, kindly don't leave without subscribing. If you're a returning subscriber, I want to say special shout out to you. And anyway, without further ado, let's kick it. You all know how we do on Friday. And uh, honey, let's get some mercy. Zuchita, Zuchita, Zuchita. Well, we're going to talk about Zuchu. I know her fans don't like when I talk about her, but honey, baby girl is on media's mouth lately. So why should I not talk about her? Well, Zuchu's been writing some things on her Snapchat. If you go on Zuchu's Snapchat, you'll be able to see some of the things that baby girl is out there busy writing that is making some people feel like, hmm, what's up? If you take what she's writing, you know what I'm saying? And add how things are going with diamond partners because we ain't seeing them hugging them kissing them them penzi wangu no more especially since her and mama dangote also haven't been seen together as such that got people feeling like there's something definitely going on between diamond and zuchu and that their relationship is not good good and to make the matters worse when diamond went in south africa and of course after you know zuchu hearing shakib speaking the way shakib was speaking because shakib was jealous that diamond was there meaning according to Z Zuchu, she might think that, you know, maybe Zari and Diamond Platinum have something going on. Zuchu herself, you know, has shown that she's a little bit jealous of Zari because she feels like Zari can take Diamond Platinum. She's not secure, okay? Diamond Platinum's mother is not helping the situation. Uh, she's out here throwing in some shade, you know what I'm saying? Never be on Zuchu's side. And vice versa. So if you go on Zuchu Snapchat, okay, we've been, I've been reporting a lot on some of the things that she's been out there saying, talking about uh, a, a mother, a mother-in-law who is not supporting her, talking about, you know, if she passed away, the people that she will haunt. She posted something today. Hey, it says in a quote, Fanya ibada tafuta feather zako samhe walio kukwaza tunza afya yako na ishi maisha yako the best quote of this year. Tumanan swahili listeners that basically means, okay, pray, okay, look for money, forgive who did you wrong. Okay, take care of your health and live your life. And of course, uh, she finished with the best quote right there. That got me feeling like uh, Zuchu probably, she's not at the right place. Okay, maybe she's quoting some of uh, her lyrics from her songs. You know that uh, she's dropping that album pretty soon. And uh, that could be it, or she could be feeling some type of a way because, you know, blogs are attacking her and also, you know, influencers are also having nothing but bad things to say about her. Like, I've talked about that in the past. I've said that, you know, I feel like Loki, they're a little bit jealous, but, you know. With Zochu, the real reason why some people might feel some type of way about her, that's why many blogs are out here reporting that they can't wait for Diamond to go back with Zari is because they felt like Zochu was somewhat uh, ego. She had, she have ego. She's very, uh, she's very, very, very proud. She has, uh, She's not a likable person, to be honest, based on how she was bragging on public on how Diamond Platinums would never leave her. She, he will never go anywhere. Anyway, that is just my opinion. Tell me how you feel about it. Keep it classy. Stay